Geeksters, today's video is going to be the much requested sweater lookbook. If you like this video and you're not subscribed, subscribe below for more lookbooks and outfit inspo. Picture the scenario. You agree to go to an event with your friend after hours. It's cold. All you want to do is be under the covers. You don't want to go anywhere. Well, this outfit comes to the rescue. It's literally a pair of jeans, a chunky sweater, a moto jacket, and some pumps. The star of the show is definitely this yellow moto jacket that I picked up years ago from Eloquy. Um, I'm loving this combination of creams and browns with mustard. It works really well. It was all over the runways for fall and winter. And it's kind of an unexpected combination. Um, of course, to finish off this look, I decided to go with these um, leopard pumps I've had for forever. And then I threw on this quilted crossbody bag to complete the outfit. So next time your friend asks you to go out with them and you don't want to go anywhere because it's cold, reach for this outfit. One of the easiest ways to add interest to a monochrome look is to mix textures. Here the softness of the knit and the shininess of the skirt really balance themselves out. I also love pairing navy and black together. Contrary to popular opinion, they work really really well together and the hint of black lace in this navy skirt really ties in the boots to this look. Because the navy and black are pretty neutral tones, I decided to add a little bit more interest to the look by going for this bright tomato red bucket bag. This is the perfect look for a winter date night. Just add a coat. Despite what many may say, you can wear pastels all year round. Some of you may recognize this chunky lilac colored sweater from the spring. I decided to bring this look into the fall by pairing it with black mom jeans and black Chelsea boots. This combination sets the base for this look. To amp things up and add a little bit more contrast, texture, and print to the look, I opted to pair this look with a plaid blazer. This blazer works because it actually has purple lines going through it. So it ties perfectly in with the lilac color of this sweater. This dress, this blazer also does double duty in that it dresses up and makes this very casual look a little bit more sophisticated. This is a perfect look to wear to run errands on the weekend if you want to look a little bit more smart. You could also wear a look like this on casual Fridays at work. So this look can serve multiple functions and that's what I really like about it. I finished things off again with my black quilted crossbody bag because it literally goes with everything. So, how did I do? Would you wear this look? Before the video is over, make sure to let me know down below which looks you would recreate or wear. So the star of the show for this look Definitely these high-waisted vinyl pants that I picked up a couple of years ago from Target. I love wearing this these pants with knits because as I said two outfits ago, I really like pairing different textures. 
and I love the contrast it creates. The matteness of the sweater versus the shininess or the sheen of the pants just does something for me. So how do we take this outfit up a notch? I thought, why not throw on a denim jacket? To make the proportions work, I knew I needed a crop jacket, but I knew that a leather jacket would be, wouldn't work for this look just because of the pants. Next, I had to figure out what shoes I wanted to wear. I opted again for my leopard pumps, simply because most of the look was solid in color there was no print and I thought adding a printed shoe would finish off the look and add the right amount of interest. I've been on the hunt for a really good denim skirt that would actually fit my shape. And I finally found one, so of course I had to put together a sweater look with a denim skirt. This is the kind of look I would wear to run errands in the winter. Now I realize I am not wearing tights. Please dress appropriate to the weather where you are. Totally layer these up with super thick, like legging sweater type tights. That would be perfect. But I decided to pair this chunky sweater with my denim skirt, of course, um, my Converse sneakers, and then a fun bag, just to add a little bit of interest and, you know, keep the look youthful and fun. Speaking of youthful, this would also be a really cute look to wear to class. All you need is like a nice thick puffer jacket and, or leather jacket and you're good to go. So here's a perfect example of how I would style a sweater for work. I dressed up this casual v-neck dolman sweater with these menswear inspired culottes. To keep the workwear vibe, I also paired it with a pair of pumps. I love these pumps because they have these giant bows in front, which kind of adds a, a feminine twist to the look which is totally me because I like how the bows kind of contrast against the menswear feel of the pants. To finish things off, I opted for my quilted crossbody bag. Something about the shape and the structure of the bag means that it's also appropriate for office attire. So the star of the show, definitely this striped, multicolored, super bright, technicolored sweater from Shein. To keep the sweater the star of the show, I chose to kind of tone down everything I paired with it. I went for mid-wash blue jeans and a pair of nude pumps. Rather than opting for a neutral colored handbag, which would have also worked in this scenario, I decided to complement the colors in the sweater by pairing the look with this fun, furry, mustard color fur bag. How many times can I say fur? <laughs> the sweater is definitely a conversation starter, so I'd wear something like this to a kickback or just out for drinks with friends. I know, I know, I know, I'm not going anywhere. There's a mad videos for you to check out, okay? Just click on one of them and continue watching.